Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Matters. I am going to present a case of aneurysmal subarachnoid hemorrhage with severe vasospasm, which we managed with intra-arterial vasospasm therapy with continuous TCD monitoring. I am Dr. Ranjit, fellow in stroke and intervention neurology from Rajgiri Hospital. 45-year-old male with no known comorbidities presented with headache, multiple episodes of vomiting and an episode of seizure. When he presented to our hospital, he was mildly lethargic, but GCS was full and there were no focal neurological deficits. CT brain was showing grade 3 SAH and CT angiogram was showing ACOM aneurysm. He was taken up for clipping by neurosurgery and procedure was uneventful and was in neurosurgical ICU and post-operative day 4, patient developed altered sensorium and left-sided positive of movements. Vasospasm was suspected and uh, intermission neurology consultation was given by neurosurgeons. TCD was done, which was suggestive of increased mean and peak velocities in MCA, ACA and terminal ICA over the right side and moderately increased velocities over the left side. Patient was taken up for intra-arterial vasospasm therapy with continuous TCD monitoring with TCD helmet. This video shows the TCD monitoring of the patient, which showed increased mean and peak velocities. Right ICA shoot was suggestive of, it was taken up for DSA, and right ICA shoot was suggestive of severe MCA. ACA and terminal ICA vasospasm and left ICA showed there was minimal spasm in the MCA. Post intraarterial actually we have tried this uh, we have tried nimodipine initially in this patient. He was very sensitive for intraarterial nimodipine and he developed a hypotension. So we have given intraarterial milidone for which he responded very well and uh, tolerated milinone and post milinone infusion there was significant improvement in vasospasm and even on the left side there was improvement in the moderate vasospasm these are the pre and post images this is the initial image over the right side MCA and ACA and even terminal ICA is showing vasospasm here and post milinone infusion there is significant improvement in vasospasm even on the left side there was moderate vasospasm initially which improved post milinone intraarterial infusion he was started on continuous IV milinone infusion along with oral nimodipine but in next subsequent three days his velocities were increasing significantly so he was taken up for intra-arterial vasospasm therapy in next, in next consecutive three days. Following which patient recovered significantly and uh, he was discharged with uh, no focal neurological deficits after 14 days of admission. Thank you. Please share your views on this case.